Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Um, I was just listening to Bruno Mars' song. I've been thinking about songs that, new songs that we can do for some of our music classes. So let's listen to this song. If you ever find yourself stuck in the middle of the sea, I'll And I just quickly learned it, wrote down the chords to the song. And so I was thinking this would be a really good song to do. Um, for a number of reasons. One is on ukulele, the chords work really well on ukulele, so it'd be a good ukulele song. I'm gonna make another video um, for an online piano for those people that don't have an instrument at home, but that are at home and they wanna do some music. I'll make a video for this same song, but for an online piano and how you can play it. And maybe even uh, Chrome Music Lab will look at it in there. So um, this, I'll just quickly run through some of the chords. There's really, there's just two, um, there's just two main parts to the song, really. Uh, so let's just look at some of the chords. A lot of these are chords that we've learned before, and then if you're just starting from nothing, then they're not chords that you know. But it starts with a C chord, we're in the key of C. Okay, if you don't know any of these chords yet, you'll need to, that's, that I'm not really going to be showing you how to play all of these chords. This is assuming you already know your C chord, your F chord, your G chord, your A minor chord, because all of those chords are in this song. Um, there are two other chords to learn. So, and they're not too tricky. We need to learn an E minor. Okay, so the, at the beginning of the song, goes to an E minor after the C chord. So I think of um, E minor as sort of a diagonal shape coming. So if, if our C, now this is important. Fingering is important. I want you guys, if you're not thinking about fingering, start thinking about it more often. What fingers you're using to play some of these chords. C chord, one, two, three. Since it's on the third fret, I suggest you use your third finger, okay? Some people might just do it like this. Depending on the situation, maybe that's what we want to do. Most of the time, I suggest you play it like this, with this finger. So one, two, three. When we go to the E minor, our first finger is going to actually just go on the second fret. So we're going to lift this one away and put this finger here. We're going to go up in diagonal, in a diagonal shape. So the next string, which is the second string, on the third fret and then this finger here see the diagonal shape so i've got first string second fret second string third fret third string fourth fret e minor should sound like that so you'll want to practice c to e minor and that shape and that switch and then it's going to go to a minor g and F. Okay, that's the main, the first part of the verse and the chorus. So you'll want to stop and practice those chords. C. And get comfortable switching from C to E minor. A minor is not too bad to get to. And then G. And F. Okay, we'll talk a bit about the timing of those chords now. And the rhythm. So it's pretty simple rhythm in terms of the strumming. The beat two and four are heavily accented, but we're gonna play. So if it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Notice how I'm really softly strumming on beat one and harder on two. And I'm doing them all down strokes. One, two, soft, louder. So it would be two bars of that. So one, two, three, four, two, two, three. E minor, one, two, three, four, two, two, three. Same, soft, louder, soft, louder. Then we're gonna go to A minor, one, two, three, four, just one bar. G, one, two, three. F, one, two, three, four, two bars of F. So it'll sound like this. One, I don't 
really know the words or the melody that well. So two bars on those, and then we go to A minor, one bar, one bar of G, and two bars of F. Do it again, C. Three, four, E minor, two, three, four, one, three. A minor, G, F. Stay on that F. Okay, so you would actually just do that two times through that whole cycle of chords. At the very beginning of the song, there's a little bit, it stays on the C for two bars, and then when you start singing, that's when you start thinking two bars. I'll show you what that in a second. D e minor, F, G. Okay, so let's look at that. Once we do this part, that's really is, for the most part, that's the whole song. There's one other section where they move. It's the same chords, but slightly different. Um, so D minor. So if you know your F chord, and hopefully you're doing it with these fingers. I've got, I'm gonna use finger one and finger two, my first index finger and my middle finger. So finger one here, here's my F chord. You should already know that one, hopefully. If not, you might wanna go back to some other videos that I've made or just search online. So to act, make it a D minor, we actually just, where, see where this finger is? There's a string underneath it that we aren't pressing down. And we're gonna press down on this string underneath here. It's the third one up, one, two, three. This our ring finger here is gonna go directly underneath this finger. So this is the second fret. So right here, so I've got this finger here on the top and this finger is on the next string underneath. So. You want to make sure you're getting that. Both of these are on different strings, but the same fret, second fret. And then, so F chord is like this. D and D minor, we add one more finger under there. Okay, F, D minor. So one, two, three, four, D minor. We're gonna to go to an E minor. So this is a big change. So you're gonna to want to practice these two chords. So D minor even if we just don't even strum for a second. D minor, and we think about the fingers and where they need to go. To get to E minor, I'm, I'm gonna first, I'm gonna think about this first finger, where it's gonna move to. It's gonna go here, second fret on the first string. So I'm going from my D minor shape and think about where your fingers need to go. This is really the where you need to get to. And then these ones can kind of, for E minor, kind of just fall into place once you know the shape really well. And if you practice the earlier part, then you've already learned the E minor somewhat. So we're just trying to get that first finger there and then get those other fingers into place. So it goes to D minor for two bars, two, three, and then E minor, four, one. Go to F, F, and hit a G and hold it. Okay, so, and then we're into the chorus. So I'm just gonna keep going. If you need to review that, just stop the video, practice, rewind, okay? The chorus. So notice that that's just the verse, isn't it? Do it again. I'm gonna have to learn the words and just okay um and then it does that actually two more times same chords though it's not necessarily what you would call the chorus it's kind of like in between the chorus and going back to the verse 
So that does it there, and then does it one more time. And there's one little thing that he does differently. A minor, G, F, E minor, and then we're back at the beginning. So instead of just, every before, every time we got to F, we would stay on it. If you want to do it true to the song, it goes to an E minor. Let's listen to that part. So see if I can find it. Okay, so the, okay, so let's listen to that C, E minor, A minor, G, F. E minor, A minor, G, F. Okay, we're going to do this progression two more times. Okay, on that F. Oh, okay, I made a mistake. Maybe I wrote that down wrong. It only did it one more time. I thought it did it, that progression twice. It only did it once. Okay. So let's go back and listen to just part of the chorus. And, and then I'll point out where that chord. Okay. So we can hear that when he does that high falsetto. I'm not counting that as the chorus. I'm counting it as like just after the chorus. A little bit of extra music before we go back to the verse. Are supposed to do, oh yeah. Here we go. So this part. G, F, E minor. Okay, so there it is right there. F, E minor. So that little extra E minor chord before it goes back to the verse. It would do a whole nother verse and chorus the exact same way. Okay, and then there is a bridge. So you might just want to, this is a lot of information at this point. I would just suggest that you practice that much. Pause the video and practice. But I will show you the bridge as well. So I have to find it. It comes after another verse, chorus. Here we are. E minor. A minor. G. Minor, E minor, F, and we're gonna hit a G chord, and then at that point we're back into a chorus. So it does the same thing coming out of a chorus. E minor, A minor, G, F, and it goes to that E minor, and then we're on. D minor, E minor, A minor for two bars this time, G for two. So every chord gets two bars. So I'll do that again. So D minor, one, two, three, four, E minor, A minor, G, three, four, one. And we do it again. D minor, two, three, four, E minor, now we go to an F chord, so that's different, G, okay, I suggest writing this down too, so you have something to look at, and you'll learn from the process of writing it down, I'm trying to do, try and do it in an organized way, when you write it out, for example, I have, this is just my notes when I learned the song, all the chords written down in one line, for the first chord cycle. And then when it switches into the D minor, E minor, F, and the G chord, I wrote that on a ne the next line, okay? And then I wrote down chorus, and I wrote out the chords, even though they're the same as at the beginning. I wrote out the chorus, and I, I made a little note two times that we do that, those chords. 
and then we do it one more time. And so on the third time, and then I have my little note, it goes, instead of just staying on F, goes F, E minor. So learning how to write it out like this, where it's easy for you to look at and read. And then instead of writing it all out again, I just wrote verse, because we do another verse and a chorus. And then I wrote out that part that comes just after the chorus. And then I wrote out my bridge. And then it just ends with a chorus. And at the very end, let's just hear the very end, how it ends on a C chord. So if you're coming out of the chorus, E minor, A minor, G, F, and just end on a C. And that's all you do for the end. Very simple ending. So, um, A minor, G, F. So it doesn't go to that E minor that time. As that, I don't want to say too much. It doesn't go to the E minor. It stays on F. And then we play C it to end the song. Okay, so hopefully that was a helpful video. And good luck. Have fun practicing.